Hi, fifth and sixth grade. This is your lesson for the day. Yesterday we talked about synonyms and antonyms. Well, I have a different kind of a word for us today, and this is kind of exciting. Here we go. Let me, let's get started. This one that we're going to talk about today is homographs. Can you say that with me? Homographs. Yes. And a homograph means two or more words spelled the same, but they have different meanings. So like this one, fall. I have two pictures here. What do you think fall can mean? Yes, you're right. Fall means when the trees come out and they start to change colors and when a person actually falls to the ground. The next one that I have for you is chest. I have a picture of a heart and I have a picture of not the greatest picture, but it's called a chest. So the first one is your heart is in your chest. And the next one means a chest is something that you can store something in. I have a chest downstairs in my basement that holds all of my blankets. And the next one is can, like I can speak French fluently. I really can't, it's just a sentence I came up with. And the next one is like a can of soda or a can that you might drink from, or a can of tomato soup that you might have in your closet. But they're both spelled the same way, but they mean different things. All right, friends, this week we're also talking about theme, and I have a new graphic for us here, and I challenged you to see what type of theme you could find in your story yesterday that you were reading, and I hope you took me Seriously, and I hope that you found some good stories to read and some good themes in your book. But let's talk about theme a little bit more. Here we go. Theme is the author's message of the story. It's the universal lesson or what they want you to learn from the story. And it's kind of like the big idea of the story. Theme is not usually stated like I can't just open my book and oh, there it is right there. You have to read to understand what it is. It's not the main idea of the story. And it's sometimes it might not be specific to that story. Friends, I gave you some ideas yesterday, but here are some more common themes that you might see in books. The first one is friendship. The next one is kindness. It might be talking about how you should be kind to your friends. The next one is hope, determination, like you really can't do something, but you're determined to get it done. So you keep working and keep working and keep working. And then finally you succeed. The next one, a common theme of stories, it might be talking about family and how you should love your family and be together. And finally, the last one that I have for you today is courage. So courage, it might be the theme of your story. So I want you to continue reading those stories, friends. Continue to try and see what is the theme of your story. Until next time, bye.